September we met I could tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while Yeah, you were impressed Couldn't leave me alone Text me Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kasmaila. So you guys are welcome. I make video on skincare, DIYs, product reviews, and women topics in general. So you guys are welcome. If you're just stopping by for the first time, or you've just seen my face for the first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. Please touch, hit on the notification bell to be updated whenever I upload a new video. So guys, to so my old subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the all the all the support all the way so i'm very very grateful so you guys are amazing so guys today i'm going to be talking about bad creams so we're making product reviews i'm going to be talking about bad and dangerous cream that you should not use on your body or your skin if you want your skin to be a glowing skin please do not use this product if you want to have a good skin do not apply this product on your skin because they're going to damage your skin like they will damage your skin like totally so the number one on my list is um clinic clay i'll leave the picture on the screen so that you will know what i'm talking about this clinic clay cream hmm. so i will tell you how i've used some of these products this clinic clay i've used this product before so i will not lie to you this cream is a dead zone like i've used the product when i was in school i used this product and this product really damaged my skin it really damaged my skin see what this product will do to you it will tell you where to bleach in your skin and it will tell you where not to bleach it will bleach your body from your face down to your like let's say your your tummy then to your legs then from this from your knee sorry bleach to your knees from your knees down to be black it will be black, your whole leg will be black and clinically like we just like eh, I've bleached this other place for you, go and bleach the other places on your own clinically is a very bad cream, it will not only damage your skin, it will also give you stretch man, it will give you eczema, it will give you things that are very very bad for your skin so clinically cream is not a good cream that you should use please if you are using clinically you better stop it now that it has not affected your skin because it will damage your skin tissue you know black knuckles to give you black knuckles i have dark knuckles but you see that clinically is going to give you worse than my dark knuckles i have knuckles which i'm still working on see but clinically will give you way more worse than that this one that i have so if you know what is good for you stop using clinically now that you still have time the second on my leaf is city plus <laughs> Oh, wow city plus this cream hey it's just like clinically it will fade some side and it will dark some side so i have a friend that is using city plus so i went to her house one day and i saw her face was very fair her neck was fair but her body from her breast line down to her tummy be dark because she was doing a bum shot and i just saw the whole body the place were just that i was like asking her what are you using they said city plus i said city plus are you kidding me who does that in this modern age City Plus is a dead zone also. Also, it will make some side fair and it makes some side black. And it's going to give it's going to give you acne. It will leave it with so many acne. If you see this, my friend, her back we are full of acne. Pimples in on these are back, they are all line up with pimples. So City Plus is a cream that I would never advise even my enemy to use. If you are using City Plus and it's not giving you rea a reaction now, please. <clears throat> Stop it while you still have time because it will spoil your skin. And if you start spoiling your skin, trust me, you're not going to love your skin at all. So City Plus is a cream that I will never advise anyone to use. It's a bleaching cream. It will bleach you fine. It will, it will fair your skin a bit fine, but it's going to damage your skin tissue. The next on my list is Perfect White. Hey, let me go and drink water and come back and tell you what the Perfect White is. But so guys, I am back. <laughs> I have to go and drink water and come back and tell you what this perfect white cream looks like. Perfect white cream is on the screen. Uh, I'll leave all the pictures of the, the product I'm talking about. So perfect white, hey, this is the worst cream I've ever seen. In my entire life, this is the worst cream I've ever come across. Perfect white is, a, is an extremely bleaching cream. Like for a week, it will bleach you. Your skin will be white. Like the hydroquinone in this cream eh, is excessively high. If you want to, if 
If a company is making a product and they want to add hydroquinone, which is not a bad thing because hydroquinone also lightens the skin. Most of this cream you see, they have hydroquinone. If you want to add the hydroquinone, no, don't add more than 1% or 1.2%. For this perfect white, I am very sure that the hydroquinone inside is up to 12% or more than even 12%. This perfect white hair, it's going to bleach your skin in a week. It will give you a lightening skin in a week. But when it will give you stretch mark, it will give you stretch mark like this, like this, and like this. It will give you stretch mark. It will spoil your skin. It's going to spoil, like damage your skin. It will bleach your skin. It will spoil it. And see, I was using Perfect White when I was in the university. After I stopped using uh, my uh, Clinic Clear, I went to Perfect White. So when I went to Perfect White, it was one day when I went to take my bed that my, my roommate told me that, ah, you have stretch mark on, on your leg with the back of your leg. I was like, me, stretch mark, God forbid. I was like, never. So I went to take my bed. When I saw my back of my leg, I had two big, big stretch mark. If you see the stretch mark, Thank God I went into skincare and I had I had so many products and I also I cleared the stretch mark though it's no look it's no longer showing like before but it has fade. So um perfect white cream is not a cream you should apply on your skin. It will not only give you stretch mark, it will damage your skin, it will give you um green veins, it will give you eczema all over if you see my skin then i was shining but the stretch marker was very annoying all my back was full of eczema i had to stop this cream so perfect white cream is not a good cream don't use it if you use it then you are trying to damage your skin i'm just telling you the gospel truth i am not going to hide anything from anybody perfect white cream is a dead zone cream don't use perfect white if you want to glow your skin use a good cream like a uh, pure Egyptian cream the pure Egyptian. uh uh, whitening cream good is what I'm using now. As you can see, look at my skin. My skin is looking nice. No stretch mark, nothing at all. Look at my skin. I'm looking very nice because I'm using pure Egyptian whitening cream. You can use that one. But if you are using perfect white, stop it. Perfect white cream is a very, very bad cream. It will damage your skin. It will give you stretch mark and it will change your color from um, Caroline to George Bush. From George Bush, it will change it to Abraham Lincoln. If you don't want that, please stop it right now. The next on my list is um is diva yeah i am a diva ah, are you a diva yeah diva cream so diva cream is not a new cream it's an old cream so my mom was using this diva one time this diva cream i don't know why obi may like using this cream i don't know why it's not really a bleaching cream i won't say it's a bleaching cream it's more like a semi-white a uh, lightning cream but it's it will give you a reaction like your leg will be black your body will be fair. Your face will have enough sunburn. Sunburn like this, like that, and like this. It's going to damage your skin. It'll give you knuckles. Knuckles. I have knuckles. But my own will be worse. No, sorry, your own. Sorry. Will be worse than mine if you use this diva. Diva is just going to give you two different shades. It will give you Cecilia from year to year. It will give you... um. In here though from down to there i mean i mean dark skin and to give you the george bush from the bottom of your leg to the toe so diva is not a good cream my mom was using it nobody told my mom before she ran away from diva i don't know what all people say with that cream but she ran away from diva so diva is not a good cream to use the next is dodo <laughs> this dodo cream man some people are really really not i don't even understand i saw some youtubers using this dodo cream to do pink lip balm who does that if you want to use this way, picking the balm, is it that you use a carotene face corrector? If you are using, if you are doing a promising method, don't use Dodo. Dodo cream is a bleaching cream and it's a bad cream. So one time, once in time, my old man was using Dodo. He's a black guy, but he's using Dodo cream. When the cream started reacting to his skin, eczema, pimples, so rashes, so they started coming to his skin. He had to run away. He tried to cream, cream away. I said, no, should be you want to use Dodo? Come and use Dodo. Dodo is a very bad cream. So I saw one YouTuber using Dodo to do pink lip balm. Uh uh, Dodo, Dodo, Perfect White, um, Clinical City Plus, they have high level of hydroquinone and mercury. Stop using those cream on your body. Dodo is going to damage your skin. It's going to like extremely damage your skin. See this skin tissue, they are very tender. If you are using any cream, use it wisely. Do not use something that will damage your skin. Use a cream that will help your skin, not the one that will damage your skin. Dodo is not a good cream. Cream on my list is Secret White. Hey! Oh shit. This one is second to perfect white. Hmm. 
Carry your leg and roam. If you see this cream on the supermarket and the person is advising you to buy it, this perfect white and this um, secret white, they are dead zone for a stretch mark. My sister was using secret white and it was really fine on her skin, two weeks, and she was having this sweet, good looking skin. But when the things started giving her reaction, like stretch mark, oh god. If you see her hand, her hand here, she's wearing the stretch mark like a sleeve. Her hand here has stretch mark. Just this one hand has stretch mark. Her butt, like her boob, her butt has um, enough stretch mark. Her legs has stretch mark also. That's because she was using this secret white. Secret white cream is not a good cream. Please stop it if you are using it. The next on my list is carotene and caro white. Carotene and caro white, they are bad. They give body odor. <laughs> my mom was using this carotene one time. And I noticed that she was starting to, she started having these rashes. My classmate was using this cream. It's a boy, a boy was using this cream. And she started, the boy, sorry, he started having body odor. His name is mine. I, I was forced to tell him that this cream is giving you body odor. Do not use this cream again. And he was like, are you serious? I said, yes, if you pass so much, you are smelling. Karotu or Karo White, especially that Karo White, gives body odor, massive smelling body odor. So please don't use this cream on your body. Don't even use it to promise. It's not advisable at all. If you are using this cream that I've measured above, please stop it while you can. Because if you don't stop it now, you're going to damage your skin and you're going to make your life miserable. So guys, this is it. Those creams that I've mentioned are not good for your skin. Do not apply them on your skin. So guys, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down. Give it a thumbs up, please. And subscribe to my channel, please. I am begging you. I am really now here. I am, please. <laughs> okay, please, I'm begging you. Please subscribe to that and give me a thumbs up. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.